You've heard of the Zodiac Killer and Son of Sam, but why have you never heard of the Last Call Killer? In the 80s and 90s, he stalked New York bars and preyed upon gay men. This is where he found his victims. It was Thomas Mulcahy's last night in New York when he crossed paths with the Last Call Killer at the townhouse bar. He would never be seen alive again. Peter Anderson's death a year before was eerily similar. Like Thomas, he spent part of his last night in the townhouse bar. Anthony Marrero was a sex worker near Rounds, a bar that catered to older men looking for young hustlers. He was last seen around the Port Authority bus terminal before his remains turned up in garbage bags in Ocean City, New Jersey. A beloved regular at the Five Oaks, Michael Sakara ordered a scotch and water at the bar and spent the evening talking to the man beside him. The killer dumped his remains in a trash barrel in Rockland County, New York. These men died two deaths, one by the serial killer and the other by the system that chose to forget them. Whether their deaths were buried in the AIDS crisis by New York's sky-high murder rates or by the police that chose not to focus on violence toward gay men. Bringing to light a little-known piece of American history and detailing for the first time the victims of the Last Call killer and the complicated lives they led, Elon Green's Last Call, a true story of love, lust, and murder in queer New York, on sale now.